Hello, how are you all doing? Welcome back to the weekly vlog. It's been a while since I did one of these. I've been doing a lot of day in the lives recently, but I thought let's do a weekly one. It's been a while. Let's see how exciting my week can be. How are you all doing? I've just asked you, but like actually, how are you all doing? Let me know. It is currently Wednesday today. It's Wednesday the 21st of February. And I am starting off the vlog in the most exciting way possible by going the dentist. I'm so happy. I don't know why I did it to myself, but it's just a checkup. However, I do have a feeling that I might have to get a filling. I just have this like internal feeling along with a little bit of pain <laughs> and it's right here. So we're gonna go see what they say. Hopefully not, hopefully they can just fix whatever's there. But either way, it's gotta be done. I need my teeth. That's the start of the day. It's. 11 nearly now and my appointment's at 12 in business bay so i'm gonna leave in about half an hour on a good day to get to business bay it takes about 15 20 minutes but the traffic outside it does seem a little bit crazy so we're gonna leave a little bit earlier and then go from there because i do have an idea what i want to do however if i'm getting a fill-in or if they can do it today i ain't gonna do my plans because no one likes the feeling of a fill-in if you've ever had one, you know the pain. It's not nice. But we're going to be positive. I kind of just like, this sounds so weird. But if I do have to do it, I'd rather them just do it now, if they can, than me have to go back. So yeah, we'll see what happens. That was a lot of information. Ignore the washing in the background. And also, I'm not going to apologise for the background anymore. Because <laughs> I live in a real apartment. My apartment is not spick and span 24-7. I live in it. It's sometimes messy, sometimes a bit untidy, sometimes my pillows aren't in the right place. We're just gonna accept it, move forward, build on it. So right now I'm in the process of renewing my UAE visa. I think I told you about this in one of the last vlogs. So I'm actually on days off now, but they're like my visa days off because my visa is getting processed to be renewed. And I got a message before saying that it's gonna be delivered to work at some point today, either today or tomorrow, I need to go pick that up once it's being delivered. I don't know why they couldn't just deliver it to me, but hey ho, that's life, unfortunately. I'm gonna finish off getting sorted and we're gonna head over to Business Bay. It's actually the clinic, the clinic. It's actually the dentist where I got my veneers done. That's why I keep going back to it because they're obviously familiar with my mouth. <laughs> I'm gonna try not ramble in this video because this is gonna be a long video if I'm doing a whole week. I hope you're here for the long vlogs. Grab yourself a cuppa, get yourself a snack, and let's just get on with the week. I really hope you can hear me, but dentist is complete. And funnily enough, the dentist used to be opposite where I used to live in Business Bay. And you could walk from where I used to live to the Bay Mall. So I'm currently walking there. I've been walking for about 10 minutes up to now and it's getting a little bit hot, but it's fine. I used to do this in like peak summer. It was fine, it's okay. But yeah, I thought I'd treat myself, go to buy more because I've not been there in a fair few months. And there's one restaurant that I wanna go to for lunch. If you can guess what it is, 10 points to Gryffindor. <laughs> but it's so beautiful around here, I really do. I miss living here, but I don't miss like the traffic. It's worse than Marina by a wild line and it's more businessy where the marina's more like touristy that sounds so weird considering this is like the biggest mall in the world but you get what i'm trying to say i think when you're around here it literally is just what you imagine to buy to be like or i think when you're around the marina that's just a marina i hope that kind of makes sense in what i'm trying to say yeah i'm trying to like talk more as well on these vlogs which is kind of giving me a little bit of a heart attack because it's busy around here but we're gonna go with it I probably should have crossed the road over there because I need to go down there <sighs> rocky error on my move Rock what what rocky error on my part oh, okay there's a crossing down there we'll go down there
eight and a half years I've lived here and it never gets boring. But can you see where I'm going? Did you guess correctly? Obviously I came to Dim Tai Fung. I've not got a Singapore flight coming up anytime soon, so I'm gonna have a beer instead. The only downside is they don't have pork. They don't do the pork dumplings or anything pork related because of obvious reasons. So I'll probably just get chicken, but either way, I'll show you what I get. I'm gonna have a little mooch of the menu. I'm always on my body weight and food because I'm starving. This is probably offensive to everybody I know, including myself, because I got iced tea. I wanted to try it. Oh wow. Oh, that is good. Mm. I don't want to sit here in a bad mood, but that was just ridiculous. I had to queue up for an hour and 40 minutes to get a taxi out of Dubai Mall. What? No, that was not cool. It was not cool. And within that time, two people fainted or passed out in the line. It was insane, actually insane. And it's kind of annoyed me because I bought something to do tonight to like keep myself entertained, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just not in the mood to do it right now. And it's coming up to 6 p.m. Do you want to see what I bought? Like it's the only thing I bought. I bought Lego Groot, okay? <laughs> I am actually a child and I do not care, but I wanted it and I bought it with my own adult money. <laughs> At some point in the near future, we're going to make Groot. I don't think I ever showed you. I did make Dobby. Little Dobby he lives on my little bookshelf now, along with my Harry Potter wand and stuff. He lives there. But I wanted another one because I found it really relaxing to make Lego. It's probably a really bad habit to pick up that I like build on Lego because it's so expensive. Oh my God. I bought a little Groot to make. Probably not going to do it tonight because no, not in the mood right now. But it is only early. We'll see how the evening goes. But for now, I'm going to sit here and just relax for a little bit because that was something else. An hour and 40 minutes in the queue. And then it took an hour to get home. Yeah, safe to say I'm, I'm done for the day. I'm tapping out. <laughs> here apart from echoey videos and bad lighting not like I'm a professional <laughs> well hello my lovely people happy Saturday have I been the world's worst weekly vlogger yes I have is it gonna get any better no it's not just being honest with you it is currently 6 35 a.m. I'm in India I don't know if I've actually told you that I did film a little bit yesterday, but I don't know if it's going to have made it in the video because I didn't actually do much. I went to get a massage in the hotel, but obviously there's not really much you can film when you go and get a massage. It's not really like vlog friendly. I'm currently getting ready to go back and I struggle to sleep. I don't know why I struggled so much and I don't know why my hair is really annoying me right now, but 
Let's try that again. My hair and makeup to like actually look half decent today because when we land, we land at like midday or like one o'clock, I can't really remember. Either way, it's within working hours of the normal day, which means I can actually do some admin work for my actual job in the office that needs to be done in the office when I land. I want it to look half decent so that it lasts the flight and I can go and get everything sorted instead of having to come back on a day off. I can just do it when I land. Hope that makes sense in a weird way. And um, we all know I live miles away from work, so it's a lot easier if I can do it when we land instead of having to come back either like later on today or tomorrow. I don't really know if you care about that, but hey how. Anyway, I wanted to actually talk to you about first class and like my upgrade. I've been asked a lot actually how is it, what's it like, how do you compare it to working in business class because I was there for so long. So I thought I'd go through it all with you as well. The bit I can talk about anyway. This is probably giving you all the best angles and I hope you're here for it because I don't quite know how I'm doing my hair right now because it's not really working out the plan. I've been in first class now for two months, just short to two months. I started in January, so I started off 2024 in the new cabin and up to now, I think it's my happy place, like in terms of work. It's a lot more work than I was anticipating for the amount of less people you have. I don't know if I've ever told you that. On our aircrafts, this is like public information that you can get off the internet. First class either has six, eight or 14 passengers, depending on the aircraft you are operating. That's just perfect, thank you Hair. Um, so it's obviously a lot less people than business class, which is either 42 or 76, I wanna say. So yeah, in terms of like human bodies you have to look after, it's amazing because it's a lot less, but it's a lot more work than people actually anticipate and I anticipated because there's this running joke that first class crew just sit there and drink tea and don't do much. I wish it was like that. I say that and today's flight is actually quite empty, but when it's empty in first class, we have to go help in different cabins just to speed up the service because we're all trained from the bottom. I don't want to say that from the bottom, but we're all trained from economy so we can all do an economy service. We've all done business so we can all do a business service. So yeah, help is always given. We don't just sit there and drink tea when it's empty as much as I wish we did. We don't. I do really enjoy it because I'm the type of person that really enjoys giving like a personalised service and like actually getting to know the people that are flying from A to B and obviously the more people there is and it was even harder in economy because there's like 400 people there or just shy of 400 people. You can't really do that. We're in first class. You actually can because you get the time to talk to them and you get the time to like learn their story and find out <laughs> where all the money came from which is actually really good like business wise Ooh, the phone. I've actually realized that they want to talk even though like our first class is like the fully enclosed doors they can lock themselves away from the world, which they do do. Um, a lot of them do just want to talk to you. And I'm here for it because the more people... Seriously? Hello? That was actual humour being that time. Uh, what was I saying? So as much as they want to lock themselves away, and they do eventually on even the shortest of flights I've done, they do just want to chat to someone, so... It's nice. I've met some really interesting people already. I flew like a handful of footballers around already. 
um, some really important people in the world of oil and gas and yeah it's actually mental who you fly around and one of the rules i say rules i don't know if it's an actual rule but it's what we get told is it doesn't matter who's in first class we don't tell any of the other crew only if they see them because I don't know if you've ever heard the phrase of Chinese whispers. It's a game when you play when you're younger and you whisper something to someone and then they have to whisper what they think you said to somebody else and then it goes down the line. And by the time the first person and the last person says what they say, it's completely different. Basically gossip. And that's what it's like on an aircraft. We don't tell anybody who's on the aircraft until after, which is always fascinating because I must have, I must have flown around my many years doing this some interesting people and some probably really famous people but you just never know because they're always the last ones on and the first ones off and there's all this like procedure around it and it's just really fascinating even though there's no physical evidence of a picture because you technically can't ask them for a picture i know in my heart that i interacted with these people and I know what they're like. Please don't ask me, at least while I'm still working here, who I flew around because I'm not allowed to say and I'm not gonna be silly enough to put it on the internet where my company that I work for can easily find out. Because yes, I do social media and I follow the rules, which is why you're always frustrated that there's not a lot of work content. <laughs> but I know how far I can push it and X, Y, Z. I normally get asked as well, what is the main difference between business and first class on the airline? The biggest difference is, is in first class you can dine on demand, you can eat as much as you want. There's a lot of fancy stuff, a lot of expensive stuff. I don't really know how else to say it. Um, you also have the showers on the A380, which is uh, still baffled me still does every time I work on it and I take somebody that sounds weird I explain how it works to somebody before they take their shower it still baffles me that I'm explaining the shower facilities on an aircraft <laughs> it's weird but it's also like amazing can't lie you've obviously got the fully enclosed suites there's uh, less passengers for there's less passenger cr crew crew what English the ratio from passion passenger <laughs> passenger to crew is a lot better so you get more of a personalized service not gonna lie it's a lot more money and it's insane to think how much they've paid for the tickets but if you have money to burn you have money to burn. And if I had the money to burn, I'd probably do the exact same. Let's say that's one of the goals in life, to be able to afford it. Don't know if I ever will, but it's a goal in there. It's a goal. My hair's really annoying me today. Do you know, because I want it to go right. It's not obviously going to go right. It's got like a weird... Yeah. Uh, someone said, will you stay there for a long amount of time? And as of right now, I think I will. I have no intention of becoming a supervisor and I've always said I would if the opportunity was given to me become a supervisor but right now with how my life is planning out and the fact that I don't really need extra stress on my body um, in terms of like my health and looking after myself it is a very stressful role and I just don't think I want that right now so as of right now, there is no want to do it, but you never know what the future holds and how I might wake up tomorrow and change my mind completely. You never know, I might wake up tomorrow and decide to quit. It's one of those jobs, you just take it day by day. Ooh, actually, do you know what? I wanna ask a question in two years in relation to, that is a lot of blusher, in relation to the vlogs. Um, would you prefer the weekly vlogs and then like a half assed video on either the opposite day because I'll do two uploads or would you prefer 
more of like day in the life videos and travel videos roped into it, what I eat in the days. I'm just trying to plan out some content and doing the weekly vlogs, I love the idea of it. But then I just get stressed out for like the other upload that I do because I like doing two uploads. Or should we just do a healthy mix of everything? Because this week, I think was not the best week to do a weekly vlog. <laughs> Should have just done a little day of the life. We're here now, it's the end of the week. I say the end of the week, it's a Saturday. But I think this is obviously gonna be the end of the vlog because we land back at, I wanna say half 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. I've got a hair on my eye and it's really annoying me. A wood blue sky, but I'm not being near him. I'm not even being home. Yeah, so I land back at like, 12, 1 o'clock and I know in my heart of hearts as much as I'm gonna say oh I'm gonna get home and I'm gonna stay awake and I'm gonna fight sleep and blah 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 I'm not like I'm just not even gonna lie to myself I'm gonna get home whenever I do eventually get home and I'm gonna have a little sleep and I'm probably gonna ruin my sleeping pattern but I don't care because I know my body and I'm giving up trying to live to society's sleeping pattern <laughs> i'm gonna sleep when i want so i'm gonna get home and sleep in the middle of the day which is obviously not great for the vlog and to be fair i think i've got plans to film because in this vlog you would have seen i yeah it was this one i bought a lego to build i brought Groot. i'm sorry i'm not gonna build it in this video i think from planning out my life yesterday it might be the next upload. I'm trying to find a way of making it entertaining to film because uh, I think it's going to be so relaxing in terms of me doing it and you watching it. If you don't care about that stuff then that's on you boo. But for me I'm very excited to build growth and I'm pretty devastated that it might not be today. Even though I'm an adult and I can do exactly what I want when I want at any time of the day or night. We'll see how it goes. I am gonna finish off getting ready. I'm gonna go pack my bag and get everything sorted. I'm gonna head back home. So, I hope you have enjoyed the weekly vlog. Do give it a like and a subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.